biochemical test results. After incubation, the results of the biochemical tests for the bacterium under investigation can be determined. To determine if the culture can metabolize tryptophan, indole production is measured. To test for indole, place a piece of filter paper in a petri dish and add a few drops from the indole test vial. Transfer a colony from the 4% tryptone plate to the filter paper and mix using your loop. If a blue-green colour develops within one minute, then the culture is indole positive. No colour change will be seen if the culture is indole negative. To test if the bacterium is positive or negative for the enzyme phosphatase, hold the open plate of colonies grown on the phenolthaline medium over a bottle of ammonia in a well-ventilated area. If free phenolthaline has been released by phosphatase action, Phosphatase positive colonies will turn bright pink colour. If the bacteria are negative for the phosphatase test, then the colonies will remain colourless. For the lactose test, the result is determined by observation. If the medium has turned yellow, the culture is capable of utilising lactose. If the media in the tube remains red, the culture is unable to utilise lactose. For the methyl red test, a few drops of methyl red solution must be added to the test tube. If the bacterium is capable of breaking down glucose, and an acid has been produced, once the metal red is added, the media will change to a bright red colour. This is a positive methyl red test. If the colour stays its original yellow colour, this indicates a negative methyl red test, as no acid has been produced. For the Voges Proscare test, add 600 microliters of 5% alpha naphtol solution to the test tube using a sterile tip. Using a new tip, add 200 microliters of 40% KOH to the same test tube. Shake and slope the tube. Examine after 15 minutes and one hour. A color change from yellow to a cherry red color indicates a positive Voges Proscare result. No colour change indicates a negative Voges Proscare result. The citrate utilisation test requires observation only. A green colour indicates citrate is not utilised, whereas a blue colour indicates citrate has been utilised. The gelatin hydrolysis test determines whether a bacterial species can break down gelatin. This result is visual only. If the media is solid following incubation, then the bacteria is negative for gelatin breakdown. If the media is partially or totally liquid following incubation, run the tube under a cold tap. If the media remains liquid, then the bacteria is positive for gelatin breakdown. The Hugh and Leifson's test results are observed together. Fermenters produce a yellow colour in both tubes. 
oxidizers show a color change from green to yellow in the tube without oil only. A culture showing no color change in either tube is a non-utilizer of glucose. The amino acid decarboxylase test checks for the presence of the enzyme decarboxylase in bacteria. If the bacteria has failed to break down glucose, then the media in the control will remain purple. No further analysis is required as the decarboxylation process has failed to begin. If the first stage of the decarboxylation process has begun, then the bacteria will have broken down the glucose in the media, turning the media from its original purple color to yellow. Only if the control has turned yellow do you turn your attention to the other two tubes. In this particular sample, take note of the following. The control is yellow, meaning decarboxylation has begun. The tubes containing the amino acids lysine and ornithine are yellow, meaning this particular strain of bacteria is decarboxylase negative for both lysine and ornithine. In the next example, take note of the following. The control is yellow, meaning decarboxylation has begun. The tubes containing the amino acids lysine and ornithine are purple, meaning this particular strain of bacteria is decarboxylase positive for lysine and ornithine. 